Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Stata course on regression analysis and estimation methods. In the last topic, we used the margins command to obtain the predictions of the outcome variable at different values of the explanatory variable. We draw graphs to show how the average hourly wage changes with years of schooling by using the margins plot command. We use margins and margins plot commands to compute the predictions of the outcome variable and draw curves of these predictions against some explanatory variables. In addition to computing the predictions of the outcome variable, margins and margins plot commands can be very useful in calculating the marginal effects of the explanatory variables. In this video, we will closely examine the margins command and the dydx option. They produce the marginal effects of the explanatory variables. The marginal effect is also called the partial effect because we hold the other variables fixed. Let's open the course dataset bob.dta. We regress the log of hourly wage on schooling, age, marital status, and female. If we want to know the marginal effect of years of schooling completed on the log hourly wage, we can type margins, comma, and the dydx option. Inside the parentheses, we specify schooling. We see that the marginal effect is 0 0.132. It is exactly the same as the estimated coefficient because we estimate a linear model here and the marginal effect is a constant. It equals the coefficient of the explanatory variable. Suppose we are interested in the marginal effect of schooling on wages for two different gender groups of workers, the female and the male workers. We can add the interaction term between schooling and female to the model. The partial effect of schooling on hourly wage depends on the dummy variable female. It is beta 1 hat for male workers and beta 1 plus beta 3 hat for female workers. Let's see how to do that in Stata. We can use the double hashtags to include the interaction term between schooling and female in the model. Then we use the margins command with the dydx option and the add option. For the dydx option, we put schooling inside the parentheses because we are finding the marginal effect of schooling. Inside the add option, we specify the two values of the dummy variable female, 0 and 1. We find that the marginal effect of education on hourly wage is slightly higher for female workers than male workers on average. When we use the margins plot command to draw the marginal effect, we find two values, one for males and the other for females. They are not significantly different from each other because the 95% intervals overlap. Notice that after the margins command with the dydx option, the margins plot has a y-axis of marginal effects. It is not the prediction of the outcome variable as in the last topic. We can examine whether the marginal effect of schooling on hourly wage changes with schooling itself.
we add the quadratic term to the model and type margins, comma, dy dx, schooling, at schooling equal 6 to 17 in increments of 1. We compute the marginal effects of schooling on wages at different points of educational level. We find increasing marginal effects. The graph from the margins plot command shows the pattern. As the workers become more educated, the educational effect on hourly wage increases. One more year in college has a larger effect than one more year in middle school. Finally, let's have a look at how the educational effect on wages changes with other continuous variables, such as age. Keep in mind that the y-axis is the marginal effect of schooling on wages. It increases with age, but does not differ significantly between ages. If we want to find out whether the gender disparity changes with age, we can add the interaction term between female and age to the model and employ the margins command. The variable put in the dydx option is the variable for the marginal effect. In this case, it is female. Since we want to know how gender effect changes with age, we put age in the add option. We specify that it equals 25 to 54 in increments of 5. The margins plot graph shows that the gender disparity increases with age. Female workers earn less than their male counterparts on average, and the gender disparity becomes larger for senior workers. Today, we have learned to use the margins command with the dydx option to find the marginal effects of the explanatory variables. The marginal effect of the explanatory variable could be different for different groups of individuals or it could change with the explanatory variables. We add the quadratics and the interaction terms to the model to figure it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you tomorrow on the next topic. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.